Today we are going to perform the assay of ibuprofen. Myself, Professor Dipali Kadam, going to explain you the part one, that is the standardization of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. And myself, S D Pillai, going to perform, uh, going to explain part two, that is assay of ibuprofen. Now we will go for the part one for standardization of NMH. Student, now we will see. The requirement for our today's practical that is the preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. The apparatus required for the practical are burette, pipette, beaker, conical flask, volumetric flask and measuring cylinder. And chemicals required are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydrogen phthalate and phenolphthalein indicator. Let us see the procedure for the practical. In that first one step is preparation of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. By dissolving 4 gram of sodium hydroxide in sufficient carbon dioxide free water to produce 1000 ml will give you 1.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. The second step it is the standardization of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. For this way accurately 0.1 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate which is previously powdered and dried at 120 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. Then dissolve it in 15 ml of carbon dioxide free water, add 0.1 ml of phenolphthalein in solution and titrate with sodium hydroxide solution until a permanent pink color is produced. The reaction involved is potassium hydrogen phthalate react with sodium hydroxide and the neutralization type of reaction takes place to give sodium potassium salt of thalic acid and water molecule is removed. Now from this the observations are solution in flask is 0.1 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate and the 15 ml of distilled water solution in burette is 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. Indicator used for the practical is phenolphthalein indicator and the end point of the practical is colorless to pink. The factor used for the calculation is 100 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide which is equivalent to 204.2 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. Now we have to convert it for 1 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide is equivalent to 0.2042 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. As we have taken 0.1 molar NaOH, so 1 molar 1 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH is equivalent to 0.02042 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. And finally, you have to conclude your result as the normality of given sample of NaOH was found to be dash normal. Okay, now we will proceed for the practical part. Students, now we will proceed for the standardization of 0.1 normal NMH. For this practical, we require burette, pipette, volumetric class, beaker, funnel, and the conical class. Okay, now we proceed for the practical. The procedure for the standardization of 0.1 normal NMH is we have to take 0.1 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. Then we have to dissolve that 0.1 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate into a 15 ml of water. Then we have to add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. And now this content we have to titrate with the 0.1 normal NOH. Okay. Now we start with the titration. The color change for the practical or uh, this uh, titration is color less to pink color. That pink color is persist for a longer time. So, if you observe this conical class, there is no color change initially. Okay, now 
you can see the color change at a 4.7 ml color change to the pink color okay similarly we will proceed for the second year now fill the burette with the enamel Color change is colorless to pink. You can see the end point for the titration is colorless to pink. So you can observe this color change. Similarly, we will proceed for the third reading. Before that, fill up your red up to a zero mark. Okay. Same potassium hydrogen thalate, point one gram, fifteen gram uh, ml of water, and two to three drops of phenolphthalein indicator, and this contain. We have to titrate the point one normal NaOH. After titration, complete titration, it will give the end point that is colorless to pink. Initially, you can observe there is no color change. After complete reaction, there is. Color change observed that gives the color to the pink, and that pink color should persist for a thirty second. Okay, in this way we have completed the three readings. Students, from the practical we have got the three reading, and we have taken the mean of this three reading that is the four point six ml. Okay. Now we have to proceed for the calculation. So factor for the calculation is one ml of zero point one normal NaOH is equivalent to zero point zero two four zero two gram of potassium hydrogen thalate. Okay. Now we have to calculate the normality of NaOH, whatever we have uh, prepared for the practical. So the amount of uh, NaOH required is four point six ml. So four point six ml of X normal NaOH is equivalent to. We have taken the quantity of potassium hydrogen thalate is 0.1 gram. So after doing the calculation part, so uh, see here, one into by cross multiplication is one into 0.1 into 0.1 divided by 4.6 into 0.02402. We will get the normality of NaOH is 0. 09 normal okay so from this we can conclude the result of our practical the normality of NaOH is found to be 0.09 normal thank you hello students today we perform the assay of ibuprofen okay for this assay we require this chemical first is the ibuprofen next 0.1 molar NaOH solution that is sodium hydroxide solution ethanol And then phenolphthalein as an indicator. So principle behind this assay, basic basically this assay of ibuprofen is depend upon or it's based upon acid base titration. So in this when ibuprofen molecule get react with the sodium hydroxide, so this sodium molecule get attached to this place and the H plus ions get removed. So water get removed from this titration 
and we will get the ibuprofen sodium salt. Hello students, now we go for the part 2 that is assay of ibuprofen. Before that we see all the procedures, standardization and the principle of 0.1 normal NAO standardization. So now we go for the assay. So for assay we require these apparatus and the chemicals. So first apparatus, beaker, conical flask, pipette, burette. Measuring cylinder, burette stand and holder, glass funnel, volumetric flask and spatula. In chemicals we require the ibuprofen, 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, ethanol and phenolphthalein solution as an indicator. So theory behind is practical. So we go for the ibuprofen. Okay. So the formula for ibuprofen drug is C13H18O2. Molar mass is 206.285 gram per mole. Density is 1.03 gram per ml. Melting point is 75 to 78 degrees Celsius. Boiling point is 157 degrees Celsius. And ibuprofen is soluble in the water. So this is the structure of ibuprofen molecule. Next, ibuprofen is a medication in a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is NSA class that is used for treating pain, fever and inflammation. This includes migra migraines and rheumatoid arthritis. So we use this ibuprofen for treatment of migraine and rheumatoid arthritis. It may be used to close a patent ductus arterial Arteriosus in a premature baby. It can be used by mouth or intravenously. It typically begins with working with an R. Now next is the sodium hydroxide. So formula for sodium hydroxide is a NaOH. The molar mass for sodium hydroxide is a 39.997 gram per mole. Then density 2.13 gram per centimeter cube. Boiling point of sodium hydroxide is 1388 degree Celsius and the sodium hydroxide is soluble in water, ethanol and methanol. So this is the pellets of sodium hydroxide and this is the formula for the or the structure for the sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide is also known as lye and caustic soda is an inorganic compound with the formula NaOH. It is a white solid ionic compound consisting of sodium cations that is Na plus and hydroxide ions that is OH minus. Next is the phenolphthalein as an indicator. So the formula for phenolphthalein is C20H14O4. Molar mass of phenolphthalein is 318.32 gram per mole. Melting point of Phenophthalene is 260 degrees Celsius and phenophthalene is soluble in the water. Okay, so this is the structure of phenophthalene. Okay, after titration here is the starting point. Then after we adding titrant into the solution, the, with the help of phenophthalene, the solution color get change. So we will get the our end point or our final ready. Okay, so the color of this phenolphthalein after titration or completion of the reaction like this. So phenolphthalein is often used as an indicator in an acid based titration. For this application it turns colorless in an acidic solution and pink in a basic solution. It belongs to the class of dyes known as a thalene dyes. Phenolphthalein is a slightly soluble in a water and usually in a dissolved in a alcohol for use in an experiment. It is a weak acid which can lose H plus ions in a solution. Now the assay procedure of ibuprofen. So weigh accurately about 0.4 gram of the ibuprofen and dissolve in 100 ml of ethanol. The resultant solution was titrated with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution using phenolphthalein as an indicator and carry out the blank determination. So the principle of this Acid-based titration is, this is the 
assay determine the content of ibuprofen by acid base titration that is ibuprofen is a acidic in nature and titrated against nh that is basic in nature using phenolphthalein as an indicator so we, you will get the your end point so the chemical equation for the titration step should be see this is the structure of uh, Uh, the molecule of the ibuprofen and we react this ibuprofen molecule with the nh molecule so these na get attached to this place and you will get the salt of ibuprofen drug students let us see the requirement for the assay of ibuprofen for this assay we required ethanol then sodium hydroxide our drug that is ibuprofen next is the phenolphthalein indicator we uh, already prepared this 0.1 molar noh we required funnel measuring cylinder conical flask burette and burette stand now we start with the actual procedure of the assay of ibuprofen for this assay we already uh, taken 0.4 g of the ibuprofen drug transfer this drug into the conical flask next in this we add 100 ml of ethanol mix this solution properly until we get the clear solution now the solution get clear so in this solution we add few drops of phenolphthalein now start with the titration procedure before that adjust the zero level we already adjusted this zero level with the help of 0.1 molar nos solution observe the color see the color of solution it get change from colorless to faint pink color so note down the reading now we go for the blank titration now we start for the blank titration in this titration we uh take the 100 ml of ethanol 
as this is the blank titration so in this we not use the drug without drug we perform the titration so transfer this ethanol into this conical flask then add few drops of phenolphthalein indicator mix it properly and then go for the titration before that again make sure that zero is adjusted with the titrant now we start for the titration So see the color change. From colorless to faint pink color. But after mixing this solution properly. The pink color get disappeared. So again note down the reading. And now we go for the calculation part. Students now we will go for the calculation part. Okay. So in calculation part we first go for the factor calculation. So here 1 mole of NOH is equivalent to 1 mole of ibuprofen. Then 1000 ml of 1 molar NH is equivalent to 206.3 gram of ibuprofen. Then 1 ml of 1 molar NH is equivalent to 0.2063 gram of ibuprofen. Then 1 ml of 0.1 molar NH is equivalent to 0.02063 gram of ibuprofen. So 1 ml of 0.2063 1 molar is equivalent to 0 0.02063 gram of ibuprofen that is our final factor okay next we go for the observation table so in our observation table we put these values that is initial reading final reading then reading for the assay and blank so for assay we observe this reading that is 17.6 ml of NOH and for blank titration there is a 15 ml is a reading okay so initially we adjusted our view rate up to 0 ml so initial reading is 0 ml and 0 ml okay so first step is normality of NOH so we find out that normality of NOH was found to be 0 0.09 molar in a first part next is the second part for the amount of ibuprofen so factor calculation we apply here 1 ml of 0.1 molar NOH is equivalent to 0 0.02063 gram of ibuprofen. So XML is our reading, then YML is the normality of our NOH is equivalent to AG of ibuprofen. AG is the unknown amount. Okay. So this is the formula for this calculation. We go for the cross multiplication. So we will get this value. The AG is 0 0.032. Okay. So our acid reading is 17.6. Our normality was found. 0 0.09 into factor divided by 1 into 0 0.9 that is our this factor okay so we find out the amount ag that is 0 0.032 next step 3 in that we calculate the percentage purity so 4 point, 0 0.4 gram of ibuprofen we taken in a assay procedure is considered as a hundred percent 
So for this AG of ibuprofen, how much percentage is there? So this is the formula for this. So 100 into we find out AG is 0.032 divided by 0.4 and we will get this percentage purity. So our product is or our assay is 82%. So the reason for this assay, the molarity of sodium hydroxide solution was found to be 0.09 molar and the percentage purity of given sample of ibuprofen was found to be 82%. Next is the question bank. So, first question is which hormone is a major contributor to the symptoms of inflammation? As this ibuprofen is an anti inflammatory drug, so we see the question bank depend upon this inflammation. Okay. So, first question which hormone is a major contributor to the symptoms of inflammation? This is the option that is histamine, serotonin, bradykinin, and leukotrienes. So, our answer is C, that is bradykinin is most major factor. Okay, next, which of the following promotes edema? So, option for this, histamine, serotonin, bradykinin, prostaglandin. For edema, the answer is prostaglandins. Next, which hormone is a major contributor for pain? During inflammation reaction, option is histamine, serotonin, bradykinin, leukotrienes. So, option oh, answer for this question is C, that is bradykinin. So, the answer is C, bradykinin. Next, which hormone is a major contributor for? Chemotaxis while inflammation reaction. So the answer is histamine, serotonin, prostaglandins, and leukotrienes. Answer is C, that is prostaglandins. Next, which hormone is a major contributor for increasing vascular permeability during inflammation? And the option for this histamine, serotonin, bradykinin, leukotrienes. And option is A, that is histamine. So Hope you all get clear idea about this assay. Thank you.